For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a handful of remote-controlled electric igniters from things you already have around the house. It'll ignite fireworks safely and from a distance, or launch your homemade rockets with the simple press of a button. To start this project, you'll just need a book of paper matches, some tape, and an old cell phone charger. Chances are you have a spare charger somewhere in the house, but if not, you can easily find them at thrift stores for about a dollar. Now get to work with a pair of scissors and carefully chop the head and charge controller off the cable, then cut it up into smaller pieces around 2 inches long. If we remove the outer jacket, you can see there are two insulated wires inside made of very thin stranded copper wires. And for this project, the thinner the wires are, the better the igniters will work. Now we don't need the outer sheathing at all, so go ahead and pull the wires out and strip the other ends down about half an inch. Carefully single out one copper strand from the bundle of wire and pull it off to the side. And now the other frayed wires are all garbage, so just twist them together and use a pair of scissors to snip them off at the base. Now let's take a close look at the other wire. If it has nylon cording mixed in with the copper strands, you need to get rid of it. And the most effective way to eliminate it is to lick it with a flame from a candle or a barbecue igniter. Now hold the two cables side by side about a quarter of an inch apart, then twist the bridge wire from the first cable so it binds together tightly and meshes in with the other strands. This will ensure the bridge wire has great electrical contact and should prevent it from unraveling. To hold the wires in place, simply lay a small piece of tape on the table so it's facing sticky side up and press the wires down into the center. Now make sure the bridge wire is poking out around a quarter inch from the top, then bend the excess wire back and press it down beside the wires on the inside. Alright, the igniter leads are completed, so let's take a quick break from all that and spend some time modifying the match heads. Take the matches one at a time and carefully slide them down the edge of a sharp pair of scissors. You can see it scores a very small groove right down the center of the tip. Now bring back the igniter leads and line the bridge wire up with the groove in the match head and secure it firmly in place by wrapping one side of the tape tightly over the base of the match, then reinforce it again by firmly wrapping the other half of the tape the other direction. For one finishing touch, it's good practice to burn the nylon strands on the igniter leads as well, then twist them together tightly so they'll make better contact. At this point, your electric match is finished and ready to go to work. To test them out, I tried connecting alligator clips to the leads of the igniter, then running the wires to two 9-volt batteries in parallel. Now all it takes for ignition is the press of a button to complete the circuit, or in this case, a touch of the wires to the battery terminals. The matches light off because when the circuit is completed, over 6 amps of electrical current surge through the tiny bridge wire on the top, and the electricity gets the wire so hot it ignites the chemicals in the match head, causing it to burst into flames. And you can see that all happens very quickly. Now just for fun, I got an old N64 controller and converted it into a rocket launch controller. So now I can launch homemade sugar rockets with the press of a button. Look for how I made this in another project video. Well now you know how to mass produce electric igniters with junk you probably have lying around the house. By the way, if you try using different colored tape, you can give your igniters your own custom touch. And if you can't find paper matches, wooden matches will work just as well. Well that's it for now. If you like this video, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, I just want to let you know how excited I am to have you join me for these projects. I constantly feel your support, and I'm always looking for new ways to give back, so this time I've got $125 that I want to divide randomly between five of you. So hang on and I'll show you how it'll work. This video is sponsored by the good people at harrys.com and I told you back in January that I started using their razors so I could test them out on myself. But I just ordered a pack of 20 more blades for $25 and they came with free shipping. If you do the math on that, that's only $1.25 a blade, which is way better than the $4 a blade I was paying before. I find my razors last between two weeks to a month, so these 20 blades mean I'm pretty much covered for the next couple of years. Now for watching this video, Harry's will give you $5 off any of their products, so try it out. Go to harrys.com right now and enter the coupon code the King of Random when you're checking out, and it'll automatically take $5 off your order. You can get a razor, moisturizing shave cream, three razor blades, and free shipping to your door for only $10. Break it down and you'll see why that's a really good deal. The Winston is the $25 set, and it's actually the one that I use, so I thought it would be fun to pay for five of you to get one as well. So click the link in the description and enter your email address, and in one week I'll randomly pick five of you from the list and send you $25. Whether or not you buy anything from Harry's, it's just another way for me to say thank you and give back. Thank you for watching, sharing, and supporting my projects. I will see you in the next project video. Talk to you then.